What's good, people? It's no secret that there are certain types of content out there on the internet that make my ass hair stand up, some of which I've covered on my channel, but I don't believe I've covered this type of content yet. And I'm honestly a little ashamed of myself as I've seen, as I've seen this crap all over my timeline on social media, almost on a daily basis. And that type of content is what I like to call humiliation content. And that might not be the official tissue name for it, but that's the name I'm going to give it because it's, that's 100% what it is. And there is no convincing me otherwise. So I'm sure the next question you have for me is DeAndre, you know, what exactly is humiliation content? Well, that is an awesome question, my friend. And let me tell you, humiliation content is stuff like the 20 women, one guy videos or one rapper videos, right? Where you literally have 20 random chicks who get to come on camera and line up and try to be chosen by some guy, right? Like it's a, it's like a rundown version of The Bachelor, just without any class, dignity, humor, nothing. Just cringe and a, a, a B minus C plus level rapper, okay? The same is said for the opposite, where you have 20 men versus one girl where you have a bunch of random dudes lined up ready to be picked by some girl i have to i have to insert some clips of what i'm referring to so you guys are at least a little familiar as to what i'm talking about so here you go but before i do i i do have to say that a lot of these videos are these women trying to be picked by rappers or entertainers, but it, it didn't always start like that. I believe it started with just regular dudes, YouTubers, that sort of thing. And then it just, and then because it became more popular, this led to more big name celebrities joining the wave. And for the most part, I undoubtedly believe this is the case because obviously rappers, entertainers, will bring more views to the videos and more money for the content, but let me shut up. <laughs> okay. Hey. What's up? What you like to do? Matter of fact, what's your name again? Riley. Riley. Where you from? Kentucky. And what you like to do, Riley? Okay, I like to have fun, what but kind of fun? I'm like adventures, like, yeah. city flags. Yeah, definitely adventures. I like you ride all the rides. Not that, but I'm saying like traveling and fucking. Like Damn, why everything? Everything is what you okay then. Besides, you know, fucking this, <laughs> like, what else, like, you want to have, <laughs> like, what, what adventures, like, like. Can I have some money? Damn. How much you need? Whatever you feel like giving, kind sir. <laughs> but the Wait. fact that I don't like when a woman, see, see, the fact that I put out the stack like that, and I knew to bring this shit, because I know, like, a, now I know, I like. I need a man that provides. That's yeah, his pride in being a provider. Like, you feel me? It's just natural, though. Yeah, but I got to make sure. But I brought sure. this just for bait to see, like, who would jump out of line and just, like, skip every round just to run to the bag. We I'm all want money. They probably just was like. Nah. Cause the money come with some genuine shit. You get I mean, more when you're genuine, genuine though. I'm a genuine person. But the fact that you got out of line. We gonna, we gonna be No, no, no. The fact that you got out of line and ran up to that. She did. Crazy. I am real seductive. You are. I f back. I swallow. Oh, yeah. Go Yeah? Wait, wait. So. You two out there. Go, go. Wait, down. I'm, twi I'm hey. 29. No, you out. With a degree. Hey, look, look. M massage I therapist. F back, I swallow. I do it. And look, I got real cool teeth. I got real two, two, and one. This is me. It ain't even hanging. Like, Brazilian wax, sprinkle me lashes. Yeah, she do all of that. You can feel it. Sorry. Yeah, you can feel it. Feel it, baby. So, as you can see, this is some of the most cringiest shit that has unfortunately become a trend all over YouTube. But don't worry, the guys are not off the hook. Take a look at this shit, y'all. Okay. And you and you and you talk like my little brother. I Where feel like I'm from? talking to my little Chicago as well. Oh. Yeah, you're very gorgeous though, but I don't like that you put the fake flower in your vest trying to make it look better than what it was. Yeah. I don't like that you brought a fake briefcase. There's probably nothing in there, and it's also halfway open. You should probably close it. Well, also, I don't like that the fact that you put briefcase? your hat. What would be Why do you have a hat a on? Fake briefcase, though. Though. Fake briefcase I mean, the hair done. Something. It's done. It's done. So why didn't you show your hair? That's what I wanted to do today. I don't understand. I just want to see your hair though. I get it. You feel me? I've I've dealt with 
You feel me? Chicago women most of my life. You okay. You feel me? Me and your brother probably sound alike because we done been through the same struggles. You feel me? But I could respect that. I just wanted to know what you was thinking about. That's all that was. It's just weird talking nope. to my little brother, so. No problem. You can't say little. I'm, you, we the same age, darling. Let's be respectful. You sound like him, though. That's so because we from the same place. So you don't like, no, you don't like people from mm -hmm. And more than anything else. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and go to some of the ones that ended up popping their balloon just right, to get cool. a little bit more info. And I love that you're chasing your dream as an artist, but is that your only thing that you do? Do you have a regular nine to five or? I also have a regular nine to five, but as well, the art is what's really just teeing it up right now. Next Good question. Though. Thank you. Next question. You said that you were just looking for loyalty. So the reason why that bothers me, only because I popped my balloon, is because my ex said that a lot, mm -hmm. and he wasn't shit. So, to me, I don't think loyalty should be the only thing you're looking for. But I mean, go for it, love. Uh, you're great for projecting. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that's enough. I think I have soiled your eyeballs enough showing you this shit. So now that we're all caught up with this type of content i would like to offer up my two cents on it because it has become a trend and after seeing terrible video after terrible video like the ones i've shown here it has become clear to me that the name of the game is humiliation and it's clear that the people who create this content and the people who participate in it have absolutely no regard for the word embarrassment isn't anyone embarrassed anymore where is the embarrassment People are so thirsty for attention and clout online that they willingly and proudly even go on to these types of videos, get dressed up and degrade themselves all for, for what exactly? Now, the way this type of content started out, it basically, from what I understand, started from smash or pass videos. We all know what these types of videos are. I mean, they were pretty popular back in like the early days of YouTube where people would put up pictures of celebrities, other popular YouTubers, influencers, that sort of thing. And say if they would smash, AKA fuck these people or pass them as in leave them alone, not deal with them, right? They're not attractive. You get it. They dug this content back up from the grave and reimagined it with this style where with this style where you would line up a bunch of girls or a bunch of guys and have them rate a contestant. And even in some cases, uh, they have this kind of spinoff where they would pop a balloon symbolizing if they like the person or not, or if they would want to smash or pass them. And to me, I don't understand this. Why on earth are people signing up to be smashed or passed? especially the women. Now, at first, it had some entertaining qualities to it, right? But soon it faded when it started to look more like cattle being brought out for slaughter. Guys would seriously degrade these women pretty much right to their face and have them do like 360s for the camera, you know, and have them shake their ass like it was you know, Uncle Luke's video or King of Diamonds strip club or something. And, and, and what would surprise me is that these chicks would actually do it. No questions asked. Pass. Nope. Pass. Smash. Can you do a 360 for me? I ain't gonna lie. I just need a... Damn! Hold on, hold on, hold on. They didn't see that. They didn't. They, they didn't. I promise you they didn't. I promise you they didn't. Just one more time. I promise you they didn't. I promise you they didn't. One more time. Just one more. Oh! I got y'all. I got y'all. Yeah! This for y'all. This for you. Man, the things people do for clout and approval is insane. I swear if I have a daughter and I see her on one of these stupid ass videos, I will cry myself to sleep. I swear, I have failed as a father if I see her doing a fucking 360 and a lineup video like this for some guy who probably doesn't even brush his fucking teeth. Now, obviously, with the rise of this style of content, you are inevitably going to have people flock to it in order to promote their own personal brands, their Instagrams, Twitters, their own YouTube channels even. You know, that sort of thing, right? In order to promote whatever platform they want to promote. I promise you there are better ways to do it 
than to publicly auction yourself off for the highest amount of cringe legally allowed on YouTube. The guys as well, like fellas, you mean to tell me that you guys are that desperate for a girl that you would subject yourselves to come on to these shows where right off the bat, they are actively trying to embarrass you. These chicks are trying to embarrass you. A lot of them have no intentions on dating you, just trying to humiliate you on camera in front of an audience. That's literally what it looks like to me. For example. All right, look, can we get guy number three to come out? Okay, hey, can we get you right here? Damn, he didn't even get the walk. <laughs> okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Hey, hold on. What's your name? Zay. All right, Zay. How old are you? 26. 26? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Let me ask why they pop their balloons. Let me ask. Yeah, I wanna know too. Let me ask you. Why you pop your balloon? You just, the height, no. I like tall, tall. But your, your face, you're not ugly though. I just, it's just the height. Okay, period. Confidence, key. Okay, okay. I like your shoes too. What about you? Why, why you pop it? Just not my type. It's not your type? Man, I ain't gonna lie. They being harsh on everybody so far. What about you? No, the height's all right. I'm not I'm not picky about height as long as you're not like a foot shorter than me. It's, that's a little bit crazy. But the fit's not bringing the energy. You're not, you didn't really walk in here with the confidence and the energy. These chicks literally gave no time for this guy to even walk in the room before they decided to pop their balloons. And, and when they were asked like, you know, hey, why did you do that? They gave the most shallow reasons. Like, and, and the funny part about it was, I didn't see not one attractive chick up there. I feel that in cases like this, and this is just kind of a side note, I feel that in cases like this, the girls look at it as like a shift in power, right? Like, just, just follow me on this for a second. For a while, the, the big thing was to have the guys rate the girls. And that was, and it still is, seen as degrading, right? And so when it's their turn to get some get back, they don't hesitate to, to return the favor to the guys and try to put the guys down as much as possible, many times for absolutely no reason. It's pretty pathetic to watch, actually. Y'all are lining up like y'all are at a slave auction or something in order to gain a stranger's validation just to see if they would wanna smash or pass you. It must be something in the water, man. I mean, overall, I feel like the point of this type of content, whether it's male or female, is to see how fast can I embarrass you and make you wish you never came here and you go crying back to your car, masquerading as some sort of dating opportunity for the contestant. Sort of like those button videos that I've you know reacted to in the past where the contestants sit down with each other in front of a button. I'm pretty sure you've seen this before, but they sit down in front of each other, in front of a button and talk about themselves. And if they don't like the other person, they have a chance to smash the button in the person's face, letting them know they aren't interested in them. It inevitably ends up being a, how fast can I beat the other person to the button instead of how can I actually get to know this person sitting across from me? And it all stems from that fear of rejection, in my opinion. So it, it always ends up being, I'm gonna get you before you get me type of deal. and. It's clear that people have found a way to monetize that and monetize someone else's shame and embarrassment. Because I'm gonna be honest, it is very cringe worthy and very embarrassing to sit through some of this shit. Like that's honestly why I had to cut some of these clips short because I just could not bear to sit through them even while editing this. So it, it's just it's just crazy, that, that's all this is. It's just one big humiliation trend that apparently everyone is participating in. And it's all just garbage at the end of the day. There's no need for anyone to subject themselves to stuff like this. I don't care how many views it gets. At some point, you need to have some fucking decorum about yourself, some decency about yourself, and do something a little more productive with your time because I guarantee you it isn't doing this crap. But that's all I had to say. I had to give my two cents on this shit because it just honestly needed to be said. But other than that, that's all I got. <laughs>
Subscribe to the channel, y'all. Peace, guys.